This is Jeff Stradling. I'm at LA Percussion Rentals and we're going to show you the keyed glockenspiel and the celeste today. The differences between them and what you can do with them. First we're going to do the keyed glockenspiel. This is the Yamaha keyed glockenspiel. It, um, it essentially sounds the same or similar to a regular glockenspiel played with mallets, but this is played with a keyboard by the keyboard or piano player. And so it has some differences and some similarities. The sound is very similar. But of course it is much more polyphonic in that you can play more notes at a time. So and it also differs from the normal glockenspiel in that on the normal glock the notes smear together. It's as if the pedal, the sustain pedal, were down all the time. So you have this on a normal Glock, unless you damp, you stop the notes. On the key Glock, you can play them staccato or not ringing together, or you can play them ringing together, smearing together, like a regular Glock. You can also play some notes sustaining and others not sustaining, not ringing together, which you can't do on a normal Glock. And of course we have the possibility of 10 or more note polyphony, which you can't really do so easily on a regular Glock. Additionally, with the key Glock, you have a lot of technical things possible that are very difficult or impossible on a normal Glock. So that would be um, fast arpeggios, fast runs that can't really be played on a, on a Glock. So, and large chords, or just a complete smear. The key glock goes up above the range of the piano, so it has the extended range. This is the highest C on a grand piano. Um, it goes above that, C sharp. Types of things you can do on a key glock in, in uh, real life for the orchestra, you might do single notes, melody, um, octaves, thirds, full chords, it works well as a substitute for a music box or you could say a high resolution music box. I'd like to talk for a second about the pedals on the key Glock. As I said, we have a sustain pedal, which is on the right as it is on a piano. The sustain pedal makes the key Glock work like a regular percussion glockenspiel in that the notes smear together. Or you can, of course, play without it, as we just discussed. The second pedal on the key Glock is a soft pedal, as it is on a piano. It reduces the dynamics a slight amount. It's a bit subtle. I think this would be uh, particularly useful if you wanted to record this at the same time as other instruments, either sitting with the orchestra or with piano or celeste, and you needed to knock its dynamic down a little bit. So for that, this pedal locks you slide it to the left and it locks in place. This is like the apartment pedal on Yamaha uprights. So now we have the volume reduced a little bit and locked in place. Or without it. That's the Yamaha Keen Glockenspiel.